Hey everyone, welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days. I'm your host, Tony Moore, and we are here at Universal City Walk for a day of days, and we are joined by Miss Peggy McKay and Greg Vaughn. <laughs> how are you guys? Good. We're I'm sorry, how are you? I'm sorry, Deidre Hall taught me that in the presence of a woman, you never say guys, because she's not a guy. So I'm going to say, how are you all? Fine. Good. <laughs> I'm better now we got that correct. <laughs> I told Deidre earlier, I, I said, if I ever did that again, I would picture her face and my mind going, and it just happened. So I... My first day on set, I had a speech as I, when Eric came back on the canvas in the Brady Pub and in the whole priest uniform and, and said, guys, and, and during a rehearsal, and she said, listen, all due respect, you got to fix that. And I, I never knew it, but if it was stuck in my memory, I remembered that. Oh, yeah. really? And I never would let it... I, wasn't trying to be offensive to the writing it was just like when I, it if was. it if Deidre was on set fixed it immediately exactly <laughs> now you guys have had such an interesting run the past few years and of course you've been on for for much longer um how are your current storylines like how do you feel about your current current storylines and where your characters are going especially this year with you going from priest to not a priest to there's been some little drinking on the side that <laughs> that Eric has been doing. I've been monitoring your drinking, and then you with uh, with a lot of the brain issues and things like that. How are you guys handling the transition of your characters? Well, I was very honored uh, to, to portray a person with Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. which is what my character had. And I, uh, our show got an award for dealing with the subject. Yeah. But unfortunately, in real life, there is very little discovery to uh, help these individuals yeah. and I'm a real person playing a imaginary character who I said to the writer quite bluntly what is the result of Alzheimer's and he said glibly well insanity and death mm -hmm. and as an actor I said well thank you so much <laughs> I said, I gotta find the truth to that, you know. Yeah. You never got it, but the next writer got it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. now I have a mysterious disease yes. from which I'm re recovering. Yes. Not exactly. Alzheimer's. No. no. So. Well, one thing we love about days is that they'll switch it on us really quick. So we were all we were like, oh, poor Caroline, she has Alzheimer's, and it was like, wait a minute, what? She has not a, what? What's going on? I'm psychic. Yeah. Yes, you are very psychic now. <laughs> well, she leaves, and you know. Well, no, had, not, we, I'm kidding. we had a lot of conversations with faith and call, you know, and, and spirituality stuff. So it's like yeah. I think, uh, you know, and we've had a lot of show scenes together and stuff of, you know, which which is nice. And so uh, now we have a new direction for her. She's she's connected. Yeah. She's got a thread line, right? A call line, right upstairs. And we have a we have a a, a brother of Victor Kiriakis, mm -hmm. whom I say is associated with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're in another area. <laughs> well, but that's we, good. We've already had someone on the show associated with the devil many decades ago. <laughs> that's right. you know the show. Exactly. Now, Marlena, what do you call it? Where she was she levitated? She levitated. Yeah. I want the secret on that. I'm trying to get that out. <laughs> I don't know how she did it, but that is one thing I cannot get. Um, never levitated in my, my, my spiritual direction. Well, no point in going on a diet. <laughs> well, you got to talk to Deidre about that. She's more secrecy. Now, Greg, for you, we, we've seen Eric go through a lot these, these past couple of years. How has it been for you portraying, you know, coming back and being a priest and then losing the priesthood and then everything with Serena and now moving forward into what's about to happen? How's that, uh, the transition of your character been for you and playing Eric? Well, <clears throat> it's definitely been a change. I mean, yeah. coming in from priesthood, have some emotional, uh, you know, uh, dealings with, uh, you know, the being the cause of death for somebody, you know, and uh, and being such, this person was such an inspiration for Eric to take this choice and make this uh, choice of reason in his life. Um, and after going through a lot of things, and then the rape uh, with Chris and Namira happened, you know, those damn Namiras always messing everything up. Oh, yeah. Then the br the brother thing with between Brady and Eric was a big ordeal, and then um, so. Um, it's it's been a journey, you know. Um, it's it's always evolving, which is a good thing. Um, and then after the Serena thing came out and the betrayal because of Eric and Nicole's relationship, the lies, the deceit, then trying to uh, you know 
make a new step in the you know with a, somebody new like Serena then that backfired again so Eric just feels completely used yeah. just betrayed and he can't trust anybody um, and so poor guy's going through a lot you oh, know yeah. he needs some therapy Shay, yeah. boy. you know uh, you know <laughs> Well, God, so please, I think everybody's going to understand, you know, where Eric is going. Um, but, you know, I'm very happy Garden with where Angel. it's going. Yeah. 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 It's been a fun journey. Yeah. Now, if, if you had your pick as far as who Eric would have ended up with, would it have been Serena or Nicole? Well, obviously, Nicole. <laughs> I mean, how many times did we take each other? We're almost at death. Yes. We yeah. convey our love for each other uh-huh. in a basement of gas. We're gonna die. Oh, then we're in a therm. Uh, uh, you know this. I this, live such a humdrum life. To I'm telling you. Yours. Then I'm. I, I'm then we have to get. Na- what better? Hey, how can we get their clothes off? Let's put them down in the. the you know. <laughs> And the heater <laughs> down in the basement of Daniel's apartment, and then we're gonna strip them down, make them convey this amazing amount of love and death and love and death, and then, and then we, and then we almost did it, you know. And um, you know that was the thing: are we doing this or not gonna do this, you know? Um, and it was such a push, pull, push, pull. It's like really, I don't know what is going on. And then it was like. I, and Nicole's wandering eye again, you know, mm-hmm. she wanders away. Yeah. So for whatever reason, when women, you know what, there's some security stability issues. They, they just don't feel like somebody's bringing it to them. Yeah. Maybe I just, Eric wasn't giving her enough. Uh, well, love. you had no yeah. salary in your first job. Yeah, I, I, man, I had nothing going on. <laughs> That's not very encouraging. Yeah, so. Well, so priests don't get paid. Right. No, very little. <laughs> well, another little brewing, uh, little triangle that we're starting to see is Caroline, Maggie, and Victor, maybe. Is there something? There's something going on. <laughs> <laughs> we can't all be that nice all the right. time. <laughs> well, I, fi- I find it interesting. We're, we're starting to see just how much Victor cares about Caroline, and it goes back to the affair and, you know, Know, and all that and I care about him yeah. and what's a true love it's a true love yeah. it's true love are we are we gonna see more of Caroline and Victor I hope so <laughs> it's more interesting yeah yeah sure. we'll see I think it'd give it more attention yeah to the whole story Maggie is in jeopardy mm-hmm. and and I'll probably be not so bored <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be working more than three days. <laughs> well, from what I can tell, you you're having a great time in Salem. So yes, I enjoy my work. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, thank you guys for coming and joining us, and wishing you all the success with Days and many more years to come. And thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. Okay. Yeah.